All right, let's send it. Oop. Episode 28 of Effing Growth is live, special event. We've got something really cool for you today. Um, man, what are we at? 130 people hanging out before we even hit the live button. Um, do us a favor, like the video, share this with a friend. This is gonna be all sorts of goodness. So um, I'm here with Joe. Uh, kudos to Alex. I want to, before we even start, just give Alex love for his work on this project and everything we're about to go over. Um, you know, let's just get this intro out of the way. Let's up and grow. Okay, 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 what's up? So I'm Rymar, this is Joe, what's up? Joe, say hi to the folks today. We've got quite a few watching live right now. We do, hello, hello. I'm very excited to give you a lot of juicy information on this show. Yeah, this is gonna be a good one. We gotta give him one of these. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of that kind of shit today, because this yeah. is like, uh, oh, wow. yeah. This is a major release. So um, anything before we get started other than just jumping into the you know disclaimer like we typically do here? Let's jump into the disclaimer. I'm ready. OK, let's do it. Uh, let's say hi. What's up real quick? Um, Mahar, Ezekiel, Carly, Thor, Tommy Gunn. I'm not going to be able to read everyone here, but Aviv, Daniel Cobb. What's up? Ezekiel, Roshat, uh, Maria in the house. I saw Grace Walker, Tommy Gunn, Iku. What's up? Vin Milan, Bailey Simberell, Shane Grady, Sergey. Sergey, what's up, buddy? Harsh shit. Jay Poucher is always. Everybody's here. Oh, man, there's so many. Rohan, Martin. Um, I'm sorry, I can't read them all, but everybody, thank you so much again for being here. Um, let's get into this claim. Sorry. Okay. The disclaimer. This is, this episode is all about releasing and showing you our new Chrome extension. This extension is to add a new tab inside Webflow Designer that gives you a whole bunch of new features inside Webflow. A lot of these are big improvements to how we can build websites inside Webflow. And the big disclaimer is, this is the first time that it's out in the wild. We have been testing this a lot internally. We are very confident to go and put this out publicly, but just know that if you find something, that's because we have just released it today. And we are going to continue making ongoing updates to this. We're going to continue to make it better. And we have a whole month and a half of releases to go. Part of the disclaimer, we're specifically testing older projects in Webflow. This morning, we were just testing a project from 2015, and we made a couple of small adjustments for those older projects. So if you're in an older project, you see something weird, let us know. The good part about the extension is it's not going to break your Webflow site. We have built this in a way that if something goes wrong, your, web so your Webflow site's not going to break. You're not going to have a massive problem. Maybe the extension freezes, maybe you need to reload it, but this is a very safe application to use and that's exactly how we built it for you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna add on to that and just say, we're not tracking anything you're doing in the browser, right? So real clear, we're not interested in tracking your browsing behavior, we're not monitoring, there's no tracking code, there's no privacy concerns here. It's literally just interacting between whatever you tell it to do and the Webflow Design API. So as we walk through the stuff that it's gonna allow you to do, there is no tracking. We're not grabbing information about Webflow users and spying on y'all, nothing. So don't worry about any of that stuff either. Um, and also just to reemphasize kind of what Joe was saying there is that this is a beta release. They're gonna be bugs, right? The worst thing that I found when I was just uh, working with it was every once in a while, you gotta reload the page. That happens with Webflow itself. Um, so just bear with us and give us feedback as we go through all of this so that, um, you know, we can make this better for all of you guys. Um, so let's, Get into it, Joe. Do you want to just um, jump right into the demo here? Hold up. I think we got to wait for a second. We're at only at 134 with 71 likes. I think before we start this demo, we need some shares on this video, y'all. Go ahead and <laughs> slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the FinSuite channel. And um, yeah, share this video with a friend. Share this out with somebody so that that, that might get value out of this. And um, and we're just kidding. We're going to let Joe get right into that demo. We're not going to hold you back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
So I'm going to be demoing a few different features here. Not all of them are part of the initial release. I'm going to be showing this today's release, and I'm also going to be showing next week's release. Every single Tuesday on F and Growth, we're going to be dropping new features. We'll show you that release schedule, and we'll get into the first two weeks now. Yeah. So let me start this off by sharing the screen. And while Joe's doing that, just and note that we are going to use this show kind of as home base to release new features. And so as you've seen for the folks that have been following us and keeping up with the show as we go, this is kind of like FinSuite Launchpad for all the stuff we're going to be doing. So communications, product releases, community related stuff, whatever it is that we're doing kind of in the community here, um, we're going to be doing it through this show. So just a heads up for everyone watching. Um, this is the place to come for these releases. And now I'll turn it over to Joe for his, um, his demo here. Whenever you're ready, Joe. Awesome. Okay. First, as you can see, we have some higher breakpoints applied to the project. At FinSuite, we generally do not apply any higher breakpoints to any project. We find it a bit difficult to work with inside of Webflow. We find a lot of problems. And even with tools that highlight these higher breakpoints, they're still not great all the time. And sometimes we get into existing projects that have all the breakpoints and it's a mess. So we want to remove these breakpoints. We have the 1280, we have the 1440. I'm going to remove them with the new FinSuite extension. So down here with the extension ex installed, we'll see the new FS tab. And when I go click that, I have a whole new toolkit of great things I can do in Webflow. Inside the functional tab, I have my breakpoints and I'm able to see the breakpoints that are in my project. I can also choose to highlight them. This is a nice light feature. They'll highlight red, so we're more visible when working with them. But I want to actually remove this 1280. And you know what? I'll remove the 1440 also. I want to just completely clear these out. So it's going to say, we'll reload. And on reload, these are going to be removed. So we are now automatically reloaded. And when this shows up, we will be breakpointless. Wow, check that out. So just to make sure that... <laughs> <laughs> this is such a big deal Thank for you, everyone Brad. out there. That. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who's using these larger breakpoints is cheering for sure. <laughs> yeah. And just to prove this is not for visual effect, I'll go and add a brand new one. You cannot remove the breakpoint from the project once it's created. I can prove that wrong right now. Let's go into here and I'm going to go up to my breakpoints. I see the new 1921. And we're going to remove it. And on reload, that 1920 will be gone. This is so, so important. And actually just two months ago, I had a team of people rebuild websites because they accidentally put the higher breakpoints on. I wish I had this extension two months ago. It works. It works really well. So breakpoints, removal, it's ready to go. Yeah, if Jocelyn Coletta is saying here too, yes. it's not hidden, it's deleted. Yes, it's deleted. It no longer exists <laughs> in your um, yes. site. It's not just some CSS trick here. Absolutely, absolutely. We'll go over the release schedule, but you can see there's a lot more features here and we tell you when they unlock. These are all either done or in progress being built. We have confirmed that all of them are possible and they do integrate with our extension. And we have a whole list of things that you're able to do here in Webflow. Yeah. All right, next. Joe, hang on a second. Let's, let's, doing, yes. let's answer a couple questions here. Let's, um. yeah. Let's answer just a couple questions from the crowd as they come in in real time, because I think they're good ones. Um, let's see. Uh, wait, I got to turn this to 10 seconds. It's not refreshing fast enough. OK, boom. There we go. Uh, OK, Johnny Gomez was asking, is this really removing the CSS media query from the source or is it just removing the UI? This is interacting directly with the Webflow Designer API, so it's deleting the um, it's deleting from the, the actual breakpoint. Yeah, it's from scratch. Yes. Like this is not just uh, hiding an element. 
This is not a visual uh, a visual fun effect. And when you delete asking, from the breakpoint, right. it's it's also going to remove all the styles from that breakpoint. We find this very very useful when we're going into projects that we did not build. A lot of times we're presented with big projects. They have these higher breakpoints and they were not built correctly. So we can go ahead and remove everything, clear those styles by removing the breakpoints so we can properly rebuild that. Yeah. And Colleen is asking, is this for each project? It's project specific, Colleen. So this is only affecting the project that you're on as you interact with this. So this is not like some global setting that as you delete a breakpoint on one project, it's going to ripple through any of your other projects. This is all per site specific stuff. And this thing's not saving uh, pro project work, right? This is just doing the work and then it's back to a quiet state on your computer. So once it sends the request to that API, it's over and it's not playing, it's not going back and forth. And so this isn't like remembering states. This isn't gonna like make changes when you go from one site to the next, et cetera. Um, and I can see people are reading your screen ahead of time. They're talking about unbinding CSS, um, <laughs> removing yeah, styles. Yeah. I think people also saw, which goes to the point you were just talking about, Ooh. Joe, about um, getting builds that have styles on lower breakpoints so you can remove and delete the bigger breakpoints to remove those styles but there will also be ways to remove um you know the styles on lower quality or, or on lower breakpoints as well so joe back to your demo absolutely and we have one question i want to answer before moving forward from mehar i want to know is this extension free absolutely free we are not charging for this extension whatsoever. In the future, we do have some ideas to work our paid products into the extension, but what you see here, the core designer UX updates, these are absolutely free, 100%. Okay. Right. <laughs> we're gonna get lots of cloud, <laughs> crowd applause. And just to, real quick, we're at 184 folks right now. 192 is the stream record. So let's go ahead and break that record. Keep sharing this, Joe, um, back to the demo. Great. The next feature I'm going to go over, this is the second feature that's launching live today with the extension launch. And that's going to be 301 bulk redirect. So we're going to be able to upload a CSV file to the 301 redirect section of site settings. This is going to save a lot of people a lot of time. And I'm going to show you exactly how this works. I am inside the site settings of this build. Let me zoom out for you. And we have our 301 redirects. And as you know, if you have a long list of redirects, this can be a very, very time consuming process. So what we have done is added a brand new button to site settings. This is the bulk import button. So when I go to bulk import, we'll see a CSV upload and we're going to download the CSV template here. This is a, a test file. You can go and play with this after you download the extension. And when I go drag this in, it's going to show the old path and the new path. So this is a CSV file, two columns, old path, new path, that's it. When I go and upload this, it's going to check each one and confirm that this is going to be properly added to site settings. So you can see here, we have 10 out of 10 successful, zero out of 10 failed. And we're going to, again, load, reload the page. And when I go down, that's added. Excellent. This works with CSS of CSV files of two redirects. It works with 2,000 redirects. We can just continue adding these. So this is really useful. It's going to save a lot of people a lot of time. This is launching today. Yeah. And this is, again, getting a bunch of questions. Let's see. Um, dropping nukes. OK. Uh, and the crowd goes wild. I feel guilty. Yeah. Do we need to download for each new release? No, the, the browser extension will update as you go. Um, yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff that's coming in in the comments here. We'll address that all. Let's let's go ahead and let Joe finish the the rest of the kind of core demo here. And we'll go into detail on the questions as we talk about the release schedule and, and we'll get hands on with the crowd here a bit. Great. Now I'm going to show next week's launches. So those are the two that are launching this week. We've staged out all of our launches up until mid-September. 
And let's now get into next week. So next week, you will be able to better organize very important parts of your Webflow designer experience. Let's start here with color swatches. This one is so, so useful. Before we get into this, let's look at the, the original color swatches. I'm going to go into my, my project. I'm going to click on colors here. And you can see this is just an absolute eyesore. We have blues separated. We have white separated. We have black separated. This looks like a mess. And you know if you have a lot of color swatches, this can be very, very difficult for a designer to work with. So we have the ability to now reorder the color swatches inside the Organize tab. So we can go into color swatches and I can now go and organize my blues. Maybe I want the black up here on top. Uh, let's actually do the blacks and the whites, blues next, and then with the green, this looks nice. So I'll go save this. Again, we're going to reload the extension. And we have a newly reordered color swatch. There we go. We have blacks, we have the whites, we have the blues, we have the greens. Wow, you designers out there that need this to be organized, I know that you are just smiling so All the OCD right freaks are just huge. rejoicing right now. It's Everyone. huge, I know, I know. This is, it's so important just for your, your mental sanity. Yeah, Great. and just even Let's the interactions, right yeah, like yeah. the other reordering. It's like the color swatch is one yeah. thing, but organizing the interactions, organizing the symbols, like, even re like resorting the styling. Like, I don't know, these things are such major hurdles. When I build interactions and I have a really complex Ooh. site, yeah, show me, Joe. Like, let me, yeah, let me not talk about it. You oh, just show it. This is driving me nuts. Look at this. We have navigation close and navigation open separated by these random interactions here. So what we're going to do with the FinSuite tab is we're going to take this navigation open and put it to the top of the list here. So let me zoom out a bit for you. I'm going to go into the tab and I'm going to organize my interactions. And we have this identical list of all of our interactions in the project. And what I'll do is I'll take this navigation open, move it up to the top and save. And on this reload, we will have a newly reorganized interactions panel with navigation open right on top. You can organize in any direction. You can move things multiple steps. You can move multiple things in one save. It just works. Very, very useful here for staying organized. We have any questions? Should I keep going? Yeah, I think this is like, people are just saying they need it now. They wanna like, they wanna play with it. They wanna yeah. touch it. They wanna explore it. Um, I mean, I know these are major updates, you know, being able to, to do this yeah. stuff. So yeah, um, no, I think let's finish the, let's finish whatever the um, little pieces we can show here. Yeah. Great, okay. So let's go into our symbols. And here we have this terrible nav bar old right on top. Nobody wants to open up their symbols and see nav bar old. We have a nav bar down here. We have this, what seems to be very important style guide navigation down here. Let's go reorder this, make it look a bit nicer. I'll go to organize and I will go to my symbols reorder. And I want my nav bar on top and the style guide navigation seemed important. And you know what? We don't want this old style bar, this old nav bar, forget this. So I'll go and save this and let's now go see this working. Great, let's open this up and we have the nav bar on top. We have the style guide navigation next and we can't even see this old nav bar down here. Awesome, again, really, really useful for organization and working faster and stronger in Webflow. Yeah, give me a sec here, Joe. I wanna, um address because Johnny's asking some really good questions. And for those of you who don't know, Johnny is uh, one of the brand designers at Webflow. What if a project is owned by two people? One person has the extension set up, the other one doesn't. What would happen with the person that does not have the extension installed? This is something else somebody asked Great uh, on a different question. This is just interacting. And once this is done interacting, it just leaves the website in its native state. So this, again, it's not storing a setting that when I approach the site, these settings are applied to my Webflow instance. 
This is directly interacting with the designer API, making the changes and then refreshing that. So if somebody else has another site here and they don't have the browser extension applied and you make changes or reorganize something and they open the site, as long as you've saved that instance, this is just going to apply across the board. So there is no issues yep. with one person has a tool, the other person doesn't. Um, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Bailey, <laughs> Bailey's yeah. saying Webflow must have partnered on this. No, um, just FYI, this is Alex digging into the designer API here and exploring what's possible. Um, this is just a lot of hard work and some skills. Um, where we don't have any extra access from Webflow. We have not gotten early access to some kind of plugin marketplace. We have nothing, nothing like that is happening right now. This is all literally just us working and figuring out ways to provide value back to the community through these kind of tools. Yes, and before I go on to the next one, let me answer a few more questions I'm seeing here. Come back to your uh, uh, video, have... Joe. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Okay, I'm here. So we have we have some questions. Not going to mess with your project. It's not going to crash back from the same project, and nothing is going to change. to work with Webflow's save state. So that's when we're able to act. are not trying to break anybody's site here. Okay, let's get okay. here. Hang on for a second. We got a little bit of second here. Yeah. I think we're back. It's working, then you just can't reorder colors for a few and um, bulk three. This has no, nothing's going to break. That's the point of this. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Should I keep going? Are we good with internet? Uh, I'm not sure what's happening right now. It's going like back and forth. It's saying good. And okay. then it drops for a second. And then it's saying good. And it drops for a second. It seems like it's good now. So let's, Give it a, let's okay. give it a swing. Okay. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show here is CSS styles reorder. And this is actually one of the reasons we started building this to reorder our CSS styles. Later on, we're going to talk about client first. This is our new Webflow style system that we're launching. And part of it, we needed to reorder our CSS styles. This is to help you with specificity issues in CSS. This is not about organizing or necessarily reordering in designer. This is going to be reordering direct on the generated CSS file from your project. So if I need to move this around and reorder these styles, this is actually going to be reordering those styles direct on the CSS file. This is more of an advanced feature. A lot of people are happy about this if you don't know what this does, we'll probably have some videos showing you how you can take advantage of this. Nice. Great. Okay. Back to the screen share. Okay. Screen share. Oh, I wasn't even screen sharing as I went through that feature. Okay. Yeah. So sorry to... about that. That was my fault. I was, uh, I'll just quickly show you that again. We're on the CSS styles reorder and we have a full list of our CSS styles. I can go ahead and drag these around and reorder these directly on the style sheet. Awesome. So we, won't, we will not be able to see this visually inside a designer view, but we will see that on the, the style sheet. Excellent. Okay, great. So that's this week, that's next week. Let's just go through the rest of these items here before we actually get into the release calendar. Functional, we are going to have link blocks and editor, clear styles, merge styles, search and replace classes, unbind CMS, vertical canvas resizing, scroll bar styler, sitemap generator. Components, oh, we could show this one. Here we have the cookie consent 
system that we have built. FinSuite Cookie Consent, a really nice cookie consent solution inside Webflow. Here we have our components that we have already built for you. So I can go ahead and copy this component direct from designer and then go ahead and paste it into my project. So I'll go and give a paste here. And there we go. We have our full cookie consent solution, one click copy paste into the project. Very, very cool. This is going to be a very ongoing effort here. We have a lot of components coming. Our whole CMS library will be integrated in here. Client first will be integrated into here. We'll get to that later in the stream. We went over organize, site settings, custom code from designer. I do not like when I have to leave my designer workflow, go into site settings, add that code to site settings, save it and come back. We can go and add that global script, that global CSS file right here inside designer. FinSuite products. We're going to be expanding this section, but if you need to go and access some of our tools and resources, we have quick views right here for you. Settings. We are going to have a settings panel. In the future, you will have the option to log in to this, and you'll be able to customize how this looks. A lot of big plans here. We have a whole release schedule, and that's what we can get into next. Do we have any questions before we jump into that? I think let's um, let's jump into some of that release schedule stuff and we can answer all the questions. Mostly people are just kind of in shock right now. I think they're not really sure what to um, come back <laughs> no to your screen here. Come back to your video. Um, yeah, people are refresh the screen and see. Come back. We love you. <sighs> God bless it. So let's, let's get you off the screen and we'll just continue yeah, with the screen just share. Jump off the screen share. It's not it's not that. It's the signal coming from both sides mm. here. Pull this. Let's try it and see if this works. Okay, we're back. Great. Okay. Development and launch schedule. We saw the bulk 301 redirects. That's today. Remove breakpoints. That's today. Next week, next Tuesday, we're going to be dropping symbols reorder, interactions reorder, CSS styles reorder, color swatch reorder. Now we are in the third week of August. Let's look at what we have available. We're going to remove all styles on any breakpoint. Let me explain this one. Recently, we've been getting a lot of big Webflow projects that are a complete mess. Messy styles, messy organization, messy all over the place. And that's not just on the desktop. That is on tablet and that's on mobile. So what we need to do sometimes is really dive into the entire site and update everything. This is going to allow us to delete all styles on tablet and both mobiles so we can very easily reorder. We can reorganize on the desktop and then go and build tablet and mobile ourselves. So. This is kind of a clean up existing messy styles feature for us. Edit link blocks in editor. Sometimes you need to use a link block. And if you know Webflow, you know that link blocks cannot be changed in editor. Our clients are not able to edit these, these, uh, these blocks. So if you have your client, go and download the extension they will be able to edit these link blocks direct from editor as they would be able to with a normal text link. Excellent. Next, add site settings code from designer. We talked about this. We want to quickly go and add some global code. We can go do that from designer and continue working immediately. And then we're going to be dropping the cookie consent components. We're going to take what I showed you just a little bit further, and we're going to be able to go and copy paste those direct from designer. Excellent. Let's go into week four. We have unbind all CMS collection elements. How many times do you want to just copy a structure and not have to worry about the binded CMS elements and unbinding every single one? This is going to work for template pages. It's going to work for collection lists. So you can click a collection list unbind everything automatically, and then go and 
use that freely as a static element anywhere on the build. Excellent. Vertical canvas resizing. We have horizontal canvas resizing and that's great, but a lot of people care about mobile. We know this, so we are going to add vertical canvas resizing so you can better adjust for large mobile phones, small mobile phones, and medium-sized mobile phones. We're going to have merge styles to one class. Imagine you are building in Webflow and you keep putting combos on classes and you say, ooh, I don't want all of these combos everywhere. I want to just merge these into one single class. You'll be able to take a whole comboed element and merge that into one brand new class so you don't have to worry about the combos. Search and replace. If I have incorrectly named something, maybe I named it the, the home testimonial section and it's no longer on the, just the home page, it's now seen throughout the build, I can now search for the home testimonials classes, find all of them and replace that keyword with a new keyword. This is going to work very, very closely with our new client first naming convention. And this is going to be a huge, huge win for making sure that everything is named correctly and we can name things as components in Webflow. Client first template import. We're getting more into client first later in this stream. We'll be able to import full templates right into Webflow direct from the extension. And now we're into September. Great, so we're, we're chugging along. Sitemap generator. The auto sitemap is great, but sometimes it just puts in pages that we do not want people to see. Sitemaps are public. If you use the auto sitemap, it may be good for some projects, but some projects may have some hidden pages that really should not be on that sitemap. So we are going to have a way to have your own custom sitemap generator. It's going to be able to turn on and off pages in your build, and it's going to go and put itself inside site settings. Bulk delete. 301 redirects. We have given you the ability to add 301 redirects, but maybe you added too many or you added the wrong ones and you want to delete them. We'll now be able to go and delete them as well. So we'll continue building onto that CSV, that CSV UI that you saw in site settings. Scroll bar styler CSS. If you know we have an existing extension and it is only about styling your scroll bar with CSS. We're going to be migrating that extension into our new official extension. And right inside the designer panel, you'll be able to generate new scroll bar styles. Awesome. All right. So before we get into the attributes launch, let's do a more formal look at attributes. If you know FinSuite, you know that we have a lot of tools, we have a lot of resources, and this is great. But as we have more and more and more of these, this is more difficult to manage. It's more difficult for you to manage as a user. It's more difficult for us to manage making updates to this. So we're rolling everything, every single thing that we have into one new system. And that system is called attributes. Attributes is taking all FinSuite solutions, our cookie consent, our CMS library, hacks, calendar invite, class add, or suite text, and any of the ones that we're forgetting here into the same place, attributes. Attributes is going to let you write JavaScript inside Webflow with attributes. So we have a structure and a system for writing this JavaScript instead of, let's say, using our CMS filter tool and copy pasting JavaScript into page settings, you'll be able to only apply attributes to go and make that happen. We have a whole release schedule ready to go. We have CMS filter, CMS sort, load more, previous next, slider tabs. These are all of the most popular features of our CMS library for Webflow. Plus 10 more attributes, things like copy to clipboard, things like uh, displaying styles on the page. We have a whole list of very cool things that you'll be able to do in Webflow, absolutely code free. So this is FinSuite saying goodbye to code for a lot of our tools. We'll be moving in entirely to an attributes based system and it's all going to follow this logic, every single thing that we are doing. And 
it's all integrated into the extension. That's the beautiful part of this. This is part of the extension list because you'll be able to access and use all of these directly from the extension. That means when you want to go and filter in CMS items, instead of going to our documentation and referring to that, you can go and open the extension, go and navigate to CMS filter, and then copy paste the entire CMS filter structure to your page in one click. It will have all the attributes applied. You'll probably be able to customize how they're named. And it's just, it's going to change the way that you use FinSuite tools. Nice. So that is all going to roll into the extension. Nice. Okay. That's a lot. Yeah. Let's try, questions. let's try one more what time coming back to cameras here. The internet seems stable and honestly, I'm not, yeah, let's, let's give this one more try here and see what happens back to this. Okay. Until the end of the stream. Let's give this another try. Great. So we, we're absolutely going to share this. Before we share it, we're going to go and have a quick preview of our new client-first naming convention. After we do that, we're going to break. We're going to do questions. We're going to share the URL, and you'll be able to start playing with this extension right away. OK, client-first. For the past, what is it, four, five, maybe six months now, we have been building and iterating on our official Webflow style system. This is one CSS naming convention for every person, for every project. It focuses on clearly named classes, guidelines and strategies, being marketer friendly and being perfect for beginners. We have a team of people. This is a dedicated team of people that have been working and building on this for months. We are use this for small projects. We are using this for our biggest enterprise builds. We have beginner people using client first and we have our six plus year Webflow veterans using client first. Everybody at FinSuite loves it. We have full team support for it and we are going to be releasing it live for you. We have full documentation. We're not gonna be going over that right now. We have a full class explanation. We have training videos. We're releasing eight templates on this, all free wireframes, resources, builders, and absolutely it's all going to be integrated into the extension. So you're going to be able to use resources, you're going to be able to copy paste from client first, and then go and put that right in your project. Client first, it's all about guidelines and strategies, not strict rules. We're all about building flexible web flow websites that any human can understand. That's a big goal of client first, that we want you to make decisions based on what's best for your project. We don't have components that are included with this. We don't have uh, every single different design and layout that's available included with this. It's all about building a site based on how you need to build your site. And we give you the guidelines and strategies to make that happen. And a big part of it is simple logic for creating class names give meaningful names to classes with a focus on organization. We don't use abbreviations. We don't use shorthand. We don't use confusion. We want to be able to read a class name and know exactly what its purpose is in the build. So you can see the very clear naming here, our page wrapper, our background color yellow. We're on our team page, so this is the team list component, and we have the team list item. Global classes for styles that should be global. We do not have every global class that you could think of. We have very, very specific global classes and three recommended global class systems that should be global for your site. Everything else is custom. So this is a naming convention that actually pushes and recommends custom class creation because that's really how Webflow is supposed to be used. We keep some things global, we need some organization, we need some clarity, we need to make sure things are unified in our build, but really we need to let our visual styles out and we need to be custom and we need to build custom. So that's what this is all about. Custom classes and components. Again, custom class creation is encouraged. We do not have a full component system with the clonable. 
The Clonable has zero visual. It just has our classes for the recommended global systems. And we'll be launching this August 12th. Yeah, that's next week. We filmed the videos last week. They're in editing. Everything is going very well. And this is going to launch with eight templates. If you were part of our private beta, a lot of people said that they needed real examples. So now that we have iterated, 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 we have full FinSuite support on this current naming convention. And we are going to release this with lots of documentation and lots of lots of resources to make sure that all types of people can use this. We actually have people building with client first who just started using Webflow a few months ago. And people who are 10 year web veterans are using the same exact system. Both people like it. So that's an amazing thing. We're absolutely ready to release this to the public and continue iterating on this. And of course, it's going to be integrated into the extension. So let's go back into here and look at this. We have our components tab, client first. So in this client first tab, we, we will have things you can copy paste. We'll have resources, we'll have guides. This will just, this will all be accessible direct inside designer. Nice. Yeah, people are going nuts here. I uh, want to subscribe for only FinSuite. Man, this is awesome. <laughs> Let's see. It's free, though. This is going to be amazing. Um, yeah, so much more useful than style guides and atomic design components. And that's what this is kind of for. It's kind of to help build and structure uh, the way you build as opposed to just giving you too many rules for how you build. Great. That's exactly it. Giving, yes, giving you, giving you strategies for organization so you understand what's going on in your project and the next person mm -hmm. understands what's going on in your project. We've been finding a lot, there's a lot of companies coming to FinSuite with terrible, terrible Webflow builds, like just absolutely a nightmare. And this is really sad to see because Webflow gives us all the tools that we need to build beautiful websites but a lot of people don't have the guidelines to go and do that. So that's what Client First is for, to be able to build a site so that anybody can go and access it, start using it, and understand what's going on without being a CSS pro. Yep. Um, let's see, this is important, especially for us who aren't classically trained. You guys are beautiful. Yeah, I think that's gonna help. It's gonna help people build systems. It's gonna help agencies who work together Right. So the goal here yep. is that, let's say I start building a site and then somehow Joe's got to get in there. Joe knows exactly what I'm doing and can navigate the structure without having to spend an hour or two dissecting what I did. You know, it's just kind of a set of rules yeah. to just see. And that way across our team, as we grow our team, this is functional stuff that we are having to figure out. Right. And so these are these are things that we're doing to optimize our efficiency inside of the operation. And then we release them to help others in their operations. This is kind of like the MO that we've built here. FinSuite. Right. We test tools. We build things. We push limits. We try to explore and then we release those to the community so that other people can do the same things, use the same tools, take advantage of that learning process as well. That's exactly correct. I'm afraid to go off of screen share. What's next on the list? I know. What are we, what are we covering next? Um, that's it, I think. Let's see. Uh, the other thing was to talk a little bit about Community Alliance stuff, which I think we can wait yeah. until, yeah. Um, we did have a meeting just to give people an update, and then and then we'll release the um, the link to the browser extension, and we'll go through the, um, the whatever Q&A is left. But uh, for anybody who's hanging with us still, we uh, just got done with Clone Comp and I hate doing this. Let's Can we try one more one more time here? I mean, the everything seems to be stable. If this breaks, we'll go back. But let's, let's come come off your computer one more time and see what happens of your screen share. OK, and let's just try. it's the only thing I could think of is the software is just. It's going to be like it's frying the computer. Yeah, we just yeah, is we're going like to have to stop reload? streaming. We're going to have to stop streaming until we figure out like what the actual thing is here. We're back and it's up. Um, yeah, okay. I don't know. I'm going to have to like figure out what's going on with the, the, the stream and what's connecting, okay. uh, what's working. Like we're going to have to just go back to the, the drawing board. This is just too 
consistently inconsistent okay. here. Um, it is working. We are live. Okay. Um, come back to your video. See what happens here. Are you sure you want to go back to the video? I mean, we can, we can, sh yeah, we can just leave it. Just leave it like it is. Um, so it looks like Joe's screen is just going to be, uh, yeah. Okay. Let's just go with that. Any questions? I, th I think it's I think it's over at this point. Let's see. We're gonna we're gonna drop any of the community alliance conversations. We'll schedule a separate conversation with that. So keep an eye on an email for that. Um, we appreciate. There's still uh, 160 folks hanging with us. So any questions you have, leave them in the comments. I don't know, Joe. Do we want to jump? If we jump into gather, we're gonna crash the gather server. Um, <laughs> yeah. No. no. <laughs> so yeah, let's not do that. All right. We so do let's... seem to, we're stable. So let's just answer any Q and A that's coming in. It's just going to be my face. They'll be seeing along with Joe's screen share here, um, and the Q and A blob. So yeah, where did we leave that, Joe? Um, any final thoughts before we yes. drop out of here? So we're we're going to share the URL inside the YouTube chat. This URL is going to get you onto the extension. So you'll be able to go to download it and you can add it to your Chrome. Now, we are continuously updating this, even to the point where we have, uh, we have sent an update to Chrome this morning. We're still understanding how Chrome accepts updates and how long it takes for them to accept our updates. So. You're getting a version now, it totally works. It's going to continue updating and all throughout the week when we hear your feedback, we are going to continuously make updates to this extension. And I please uh, urge you to go and make sure that you tell us if something is not working or tell us if there is something that you want in there. You know, we're, we're listening, we wanna hear your feedback and we're probably at some point going to make this a very public and crowd driven feature list. After we get through this initial feature launch of the extension, we want the community to be telling us what to build into this. Yep. Yep. And I just shared the finsuite.com extension. Uh, actually, I think Rohan shared that in the or, comments, or. but it's pinned up in the comments there. Uh Oh, we're getting a 404. Oh, you know what? I wonder if the um, proxy server was refreshed. You know, do we get a new cache layer when we publish that? I'm getting, I'm getting a live site page. Huh. Yeah, me too. I just clicked the link. Anybody getting a 404? I'm not sure what's happening. Um, it looks like everyone, when, when filling out a form, oh does God. do a 404, 404. <laughs> uh. I'm not sure what's happening when they submit. Let's see. Add to Chrome. Uh, redirecting. Uh, okay. Can you believe that? How about that? We just did a whole episode and we didn't even realize that the extension wasn't live because we only made it live for our team internally. <laughs> that's that's nuts. Okay. But what we have here, we, we submitted to the Chrome store uh, yesterday. So we think that they're going to accept this in, I don't know, it could be a few hours, it could be a day or two. If you filled out that form, we have your email and we are going to send you the Chrome extension URL with that email. So just fill out that form on the page. You're going to be the first one to know when this drops and you will be able to have access to it. Oh, so did we, when we submitted it, we just submitted it to a limited audience, not for public release, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we've just been <laughs> using it and testing. Everything works on our end, but it doesn't work for others. <laughs> hey, this is what they call building in public. We have <laughs> the most popular stream we've ever had, the most hype we've ever had for a launch. The stream drops out in the middle of it, and y'all can't even access the URL, so have that. For all those asking wow. why we're not charging for this, it's because we're just making it up as we go, you know? So like, once we figure it all out, then we'll start asking you for the money. But right now, we're just really moving fast. As you can see, 
literally solving problems, <laughs> trying to build this stuff and get it out to you all as fast as possible. So um, yeah, fill out that form on that page. We will send this out ASAP. Uh, happy April Fools. Johnny goes the same. It was a fake, come back next year. No, this will be up in the next day or two, everyone. Um, Murphy's Law in action indeed, Vimalan. Uh, this is definitely yeah. Eunice is saying it's been a prank. This is not a prank. We promise this is not a prank. <laughs> Penny's saying, I love that you're still laughing. What am I going to do? Like, what am I going to get mad over here and just start breaking shit? Like, it's just yeah. what are you going to do? <laughs> and actually, we, we were so, we actually, we did such a good job finishing this last week, a day in advance. <laughs> and we were actually, we were denied from the Chrome store because our description wasn't descriptive enough. Mm. So like we've really just the Chrome store submission has just been pissing us off. And we think that we have finally cracked the code for the description. We have everything ready to go. So we, we really do expect this to be very quick. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Once again, FitSuite team, thank you so much for everything you do into the base of the community. Yeah, thank you. Thank you all for hanging out with us and putting yeah. up with some of these early technical stuff. Um, yeah, it's, uh, let's see, form sent 404 error. Yeah, we're, we're aware of that. 13 AR uh, Bass. Um, we're, we're understanding that. Let's see, FinSuite played us like a damn fiddle. Nah, that's not the game here. That's not the game. Um, <laughs> just fill out the form. We'll send you all a notification when that um, gets popped there. So, um, okay, I, anything else, Joe? We have a nice question from Johnny. Yeah, this is a great question. Question, what defines your scope, your team's pain points? Do you work from the wish list? Do you have people reaching out to you? I would say most of what's on this extension is direct from what we've learned as an agency. We've built hundreds of sites in Webflow. We have a team of over 40 people and we face challenges in designer daily. Now we still use designer daily. There's, there's no problem with designer, but these are things that we want to improve our experience in Webflow. This is not something that we went through on the wish list, although I'm sure that many of these are on the wish list. And we're going to continue doing that. We think that a lot of the problems we face as an agency are also problems that the community is facing. And that's how we are able to, to really release these features that we, we know you want. That's why you're all excited about this because we feel the same pain you do. Yeah, um, agreed, I think, uh, for sure. Somebody was asking here, let's see. Um, before that, there was another good question here that I wanted to pull up, but I can't see it. It was asking about what happens when Webflow builds some of this stuff into their own system. Um, let's see, where was that? I, and I don't know, these are these are pretty low priority features and functionalities yeah. for Webflow right now. As we can see, they're focused on enterprise level stuff. They're focused on, you know, high level membership and other functionality things. Um, yeah, so I don't know that that's a real concern of ours here. Um, Joe, thoughts there? Yeah, absolutely. And we hope Webflow integrates some of this stuff. If Webflow can integrate this direct with designer, that's a win for us. We're happy about that. We can remove it from our extension and now users no longer need it from our extension. They can get it right from Webflow. So yeah, Webflow, go ahead. You can put this stuff right inside of, of the native UI. That's, that's a win for us and a win for the community. Yeah. Yeah, I um, agreed. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, here's the comment. Um, Max was saying, what will you do? Let's see. Yeah, it's an issue to worry about next decade. Um, great. Okay. Um, there's still 204 folks hanging with us. Nobody wants to leave. Nobody wants to hang up. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Um, be sure to fill out the form. I think Rohan updated the form. I'm not sure what he said something about a new subscribe form or something, but fill out the form on that FinSuite Chrome extension website. Um, redirecting. Yeah. Okay. So it's not, still not going, but okay. Yeah. Just fill out that form and we'll get you all access in the next couple days. So um, thanks to everyone who tuned in. Um, I'm not sure what else we need to cover, Joe. Anything else we need to cover before we cut out of here? I think that's it. 
Yeah. Um, let's see. There's a couple just real quick questions here. Will we add a components plugin marketplace? Will users be able to create extension for Webflow? Um, no. I don't know. That's so not the we're, goal here. We're not, yeah, no, we're not interested in that. This is going to be the FinSuite extension. We're going to help integrate our tools and resources to this. We're going to help integrate our products to this. We've been doing a lot in 2021, but we've actually been in stealth mode. We have almost half of our team working on things that nobody knows about. And a lot of those have to do with products. So we're going to be building and releasing these products, some of them being paid, and they will integrate with this extension. So when you're using our product somewhere else on the web, you'll be able to communicate with it inside the browser. So you can call it our own marketplace the, the, for only FinSuite things, but this is not for the public. Yeah. Yeah, and who knows what plans Webflow has for a community plugin or marketplace or developer right. tools or whatever. So, you know, we, we don't know what they have planned for any of that moving forward. So, um, yeah, this is just kind of stuff that we're doing and building for functionality that we need and see useful. Um, but that's kind of where that ends. So, um, okay. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, thanks everyone for hanging with us. We're not going to jump into gather today because we didn't book the space for a certain size audience. And so we'll probably break the servers if we jump in with this many people. Um, those of you who know where the space is, if y'all want to go hang out, you're welcome to do that. Um, people are asking, how can we support? Uh, yeah, share this video, you know, share our stuff with, yeah. with folks, you know, like tell somebody about what we're doing here. That's the best way. If you want to pay this forward, share the FinSuite website, share the FinSuite tools, share a video, um, just really help us get the message out. That's, that's the biggest thing we could ask from the audience right now. And please join us next week that this, this effing growth show is going to be the base for our releases each week. So next week, we're going to show you the features that just dropped and next week's features. So we're going to, to constantly show you how this is progressing and how you can continue using this. So next week, we'll have a, a show similar to this. We'll probably add some other features, other, not features, we'll add some other concepts around here. And really our goal is to bring a lot of knowledge to you, whether it's through this extension, whether it's what we talk about. And that's, that's why we're doing it here on F and Growth. That's right, Martin. Go door to door telling people about FinSuite. That's the move. <laughs> <laughs> um, Webflow translation is a great idea, I think. Yeah, other people will solve that. That's a bigger problem. That's a machine learning problem to be solved. Like our resources are not tied up in something like that. That's a really big, and people like Weglot are already doing that kind of stuff. Um, I, I don't think that's where we're gonna take our attention. So um, let's see, I cold call people. Do you know about FinSuite? Nice, Jay, okay. All right, well, I think that's all. Um, I'm going to go smash my computer and cry in the corner for a little bit and um, think about how we can do things better <laughs> moving forward. <laughs> we'll figure it out. It worked fine up until a few weeks ago. So there, there's something we'll, we'll figure I, it out. It's got to be something. I, I, I just, I don't know. I, I have, I have like everything I've troubleshot, everything I've looked at, even today, the stream started. The first half of the stream was perfect. Like the first 20, 30 minutes were great. And then all of a sudden, nope. Bye. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, but we're not going to stop. You can believe that we will not stop. And uh, Jay is saying we can hug it out. Yeah. Just, don't change. It's honest. You'll just never see my face. That's right. My face will be gone from all streams and that's okay. That's yeah. I think that the crowd would probably have it reversed. You know, we'll, 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 I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, so yeah, uh, I like what people are saying here. <laughs> it'll be, yeah, it'll be fine. Um, Let's see, don't change, it's honest. I do agree with that, Paul. It's 100% honest. You'll never catch us like just BSing just to, to be popular or pretending to be perfect um, or not owning our mistakes. So we may not always get it right, but we'll always own up to whatever mistakes we make. So thanks for hanging with us again. We appreciate you all and uh, we'll catch